I wonder how, I wonder why Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky But all that I can see It's just a yellow lemon tree And I wonder, I wonder Hi Ali Hey, I seen who? You scared me How was your PSLE science paper? It was good Any difficult questions? Well, there are some challenging questions But I'm glad I went for the Mind Stretcher PSLE Power Up in June It prepared me for it Well, you told me about that I missed the PSLE Power Up But I'm glad I went for PSLE, the last lap By Mind Stretcher It helped me a lot Wanna discuss questions? Okay! Question 3 The diagram below shows a water pump used to remove water from the ground. When it rains, water enters and fills the container through hole G. Part A Describe how the water pump works when it rains heavily. In order to describe how the water pump works, we need to analyze the different parts of the diagram and relate this to the function of the pump. It is important to include the purpose of the contact points and the metal sheet in your answer. Let us take a look at the answer. As water enters G, the water level in the container rises. The metal sheet rises touches the contact points and closes the circuit for the pump. The pump then draws water from the container. As the water level goes down, the metal sheet lowers and loses contact with the contact points. This opens the circuit and stops the pump. The relationship between the metal sheet and the contact points is shown. Part B Suggest a change in the setup to cause the water level in the container to rise faster. Based on the diagram and analysis made about how the water pump works, a change needs to be made to the setup to make the water level rise faster. Let us take a look at the answer. Use a narrower container. With a smaller base area, the same volume of water entering the container will cause the height to increase faster. Question 4. Melanie had a double-layered glass which she placed in boiling water as shown in the diagram below. This caused the glass to crack. Part A. Explain why the glass cracked. It is inferred that a double-layered glass is thick and boiling water contains a lot of heat energy. As we analyse the question, we need to make relation between the thick walls of the glass and the heat in the boiling water. Let us take a look at the answer. The outer layer of the double-layered glass gained heat from the boiling water first and expanded faster than the inner layer. This uneven expansion of the glass caused it to crack. In the answer, the relationship between the heat energy in the boiling water and the uneven expansion of the outer and inner layers of the glass is shown. Let us take a look at part B of question 4. Tim could not open a glass jar with a metal lid. He inverted the jar and submerged the lid in hot water as shown in the diagram below. He could now open the glass jar. Explain how his method worked. 
once again, it is important to infer that hot water has a lot of heat energy. The prior knowledge that metal is a good conductor of heat helps us to analyze the relationship between the metal lid and the heat in the hot water. Let us take a look at the answer. The metal lid gained heat from the hot water and expanded. This loosened the lid to allow it to be opened more easily. The relationship between the heat energy in the hot water and the metal lid is shown. the teachers cover almost everything in our workshop. Yes, isn't that great? Such a relief! Now that PSLE is over, what are your plans? I'll be going for the Mind Stretcher Skills Builder workshop on the 19th and 20th of October. Me too! See you there!